Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. One of the cool new updates that we have in Studio One 6 is the ability to now set custom preset folders and favorites inside of your Studio One instruments and effects. This is now possible and can be a major improvement to your workflow. Let's take a look. So when we open up the instrument and effects browser in Studio One and we go to, let's say, the virtual instruments, for example, we are now able to set our own preset folders here. For example, go to the impact. It can also be a third party plugin of your choice. And then you just right click anywhere here in the browser space to create a new folder, to rename an existing folder, to delete a folder. So you can really determine your own favorite preset structure for all of the presets inside of this particular virtual instrument and the same same also works for effects. Now what you can also do is tag a particular preset of any effect or virtual instrument as favorite before you were only able to set the entire effect or virtual instrument itself as a favorite. Now you can also do that with individual presets for quick access. So if I go to the beat delay, for example, and I have this preset here that I use all the time, it's called double snare, then I can just right click that, tag it as a favorite. And as soon as I do that, you can see how this favorites folder that was previously the only available for the entirety of all effects and instruments is now present here in the preset list as well. And I can just drag and drop that directly into the song to create a new audio insert effect on a new audio channel or just drag that into the sense section to create a new effects channel that this channel is sending to where the plugin is now inserted. So this is a cool way to access your favorite presets much faster than before in Studio One 6. And hopefully this is going to be helpful to your workflow. Thank you for watching.